Alright, so now in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at this circuit. So, I looked up a uh, triangle wave oscillator, and this was the circuit that I came across. And so, with the uh, digital oscilloscope here, there you can see that uh, we have a triangle wave, and uh, we got some spikes and stuff. But, in uh, any case, you can see uh, with this, potentiometer here we can uh, change the uh, shape of the uh, wave in fact we can lose it completely if we go out of a certain area so I'm gonna put this back until it's a, a triangle wave so now this op amp here has two outputs right now I'm at pin 7 this op amp by the way is the uh, LM358 it's a dual op amp. There's two op amps in it. So, pin number seven here is the output of one of the op amps. Pin number eight is a power, the positive power, and a pin number four is the negative power. So, the top pin that's not a power, that's a pin seven, there is the output of one op amp. The other op amp, since the power is down here, the output is at uh, the top. So let's get a look at that. And there you can see it's a rectangle wave. The uh, voltage is not at a good setting to really see it. There we go. We can see it better. So now I'm at uh, one volt for each one of these squares. So the voltage is quite a bit higher at the output of that op amp versus the output of uh, this op amp. Alright, so now I just want to quickly mention, in the last clip, we used my DS-202 oscilloscope. Now we're coming to the Liumi LM-2001, because this is actually the whole reason for this video. I made this circuit to uh, test out this meter, and things were going horrible until I got the other oscilloscope. I figured out a lot of things. So, to begin with, I haven't changed the circuit at all, and... Let's take a reading of the rectangle wave again. And here you can see it actually looks like a square wave. So I didn't have any problems here. The uh, settings are kind of odd. You got to go to, uh, this is where it usually starts. You hit uh, this here and uh, that pops up. I usually hit select until I see some kind of waveform on there. And let's check where we're at now and uh, there you can see let's try to uh, reduce the number there you go we can we can make some changes there so in any case you just kinda hit those buttons usually when the number of uh, waves are not here like in one of these arrows will help and select does some stuff too so in any case now that we got that let's take a reading of the capacitor this is where we should see uh, triangle waves and it really doesn't look like triangle waves so I realize this with the other oscilloscope but this tells us here too we're only working with 0.23 volts and the meter right now is set for 20 volts and below and we have a pretty wide spread here uh, and so generally I don't measure much below 2 volts but uh, let's change that there now and uh, now you see the waveforms all goofy let's uh, first off I'll show you if I just touch this we go out of limit if I just touch the capacitor we go out of limit so I want to try to touch them both as close to the same time as possible there we go now we finally have the triangle wave so I figured out that uh, all I had to do was lower the voltage and I would have got the uh, triangle wave now I thought actually let's put this back up to 20 we're gonna measure the other the other spot so I thought I was getting a square wave because as you can see here it looks like a square wave on there and uh, it's supposed to be a square wave but with the better 
oscilloscope, we clearly saw that it was a rectangle wave.